So here's my keyword outline. Okay, so Paige gave us a great perspective of how one mental health a day, one mental health day a month can help decrease anxiety levels. Um, but what are some other ways that Texas A&M can help do that? So I'm here to talk to you about how Texas A&M implementing free exercise programs at the REC, along with free education programs at the REC, can help decrease anxiety at Texas A&M for all students. Uh, first, I'll talk to you about what exercise can help for anxiety. Then I'll talk to you about um, the free programs and educating students. And then finally, I'll talk to you about how making free REC classes will help decrease anxiety as well. So anxiety is the top presenting concern among college students, according to the American Psychological Association. And according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, benefits of exercise are proven to improve anxiety immediately and also other related disorders. Therefore, advocating for exercise awareness will ultimately reduce college students' anxiety at Texas A&M University. So the first topic I'll talk about is how exercise affects anxiety. Okay, so multiple studies have shown that increasing your exercise levels will automatically decrease your anxiety levels. According to Mayo Clinic, working out releases feel-good endorphins, as well as takes your mind off worries. So for the endorphins aspect, um, endorphins are released and are almost drug-inducing brain chemicals that enhance your sense of well-being and automatically uh, boost your mood. Now on the opposite side of that, um, and this is all while you're working out, this is what happens. Um, it also gives you a brain break. So when you're working out, when you're running, a lot of times you're not thinking about your anxious thoughts, you're running, focusing on that, or you're working out and you're focusing on lifting weights. So it's a chemical release when you're working out, but it's also um, a brain break from thinking about everything that's going on in your life. Also, like shown in our visual aid, a study by Science Daily proved that regular or daily exercise reduces patient anxiety by 20%. So exercise um, people or people that were exercising in this study um, were told to exercise for 30 minutes or greater for a long period of time. And it showed that over the months that they were exercising every day, um, it almost exercising almost became like a medication for them. And they had long-term effects of calmness, which is super awesome. And then lastly, um, as shown in this graph on the right, a study by Dr. Lou Menthol talked about how, why, or how exercise reduces anxiety and depression and why it's almost more effective than medication, as you can see in this graph below. Um, he stated that there aren't only chemical benefits of, uh, of exercise, like um, with medication, there's only chemical benefits, but with working out, there's chemical and mental benefits. So he's talked about how um, the sense of personal mastery and positive self-regard help play a heavy role in this. So for example, when you work out and you feel good about yourself, um, it is another way that could decrease your anxiety where in um, contrast with medication, it's just chemical, it's not mental kind of situation. So many students are also unaware of the positive impacts of exercising on anxiety levels and education with rec programs could help this. So a study by ADAA showed that many people struggle with anxiety, but only 36.9% of these people seek treatment due to the fact that they don't have um, help or they have lack of education of where to go for help. So if the rec offered classes about learning about anxiety and how to cope with it with exercising, it would be a lot easier for people to realize that when they have symptoms of anxiety and how to deal with these symptoms. Um, the rec programs would influence kids to want to learn more about anxiety and make them aware of what exercises can help, whether it's yoga, meditation, or cardio, or all those kind of things. Um, and having more rec programs about anxiety normalizes asking for help. So the more people um, know about the programs, the more people talk about it, and then the more people feel comfortable about asking for help. So now that I've talked about rec programs, I'm gonna talk about rec classes. So as you can see on the screen, there's very, there's very little free classes and little options to choose from from those that are free, and there's no free Zoom classes. Uh, rec class cards can be very expensive and not every kid can afford to go to the classes they offer on a frequent basis. So we pay our tuition to go to the rec, but it doesn't cover our classes for, or it doesn't cover our cost for class cards. So I'm proposing that they reduce the cost of class cards or they make more free classes for people to attend. Um, if more free classes are given, it's just one other way that A&M can help fight the fight against anxiety. Um, and if people are exercising more and have the, I feel like if I were to see that there's a free class, it's more likely that I would go than if I had to pay for it. Um, so to summarize, first I talked about how much of an impact that exercise can have on reduction of anxiety levels. Then I talked about how the benefits of educating students with free programs and then the free classes can help 
um, reduce anxiety as a whole at Texas A&M University. Um, overall, anxiety is a huge issue in college, and I think if Texas A&M implemented these exercise policies, they would see a huge difference um, in the issues at hand.